No one ever comes up and says, you know what, next week it's going to be great. We just got a really complex enterprise software solution implemented, installed, and I get to learn it. It's, oh man, it's really overwhelming, and if you screw things up, it wastes hours of your day. Man, this is going to be awesome. You never quite hear that. What can you do to drive that productivity? Well, LiveOps, they have this challenge. It's a distributed call center, um, people working out of their homes. About three years ago, they introduced points, trophies, news feeds, avatars into that virtual work community. And now, those call center agents between calls, they're not playing Angry Birds, they're playing Ab Rocket product trivia. They're not checking their Facebook, but rather they're completing a mission, so the, the, the selling skills mission, and getting better at what they're doing. They're checking their daily and weekly and monthly leaderboards to understand how they're tracking toward their progress. They don't need that daily or that hourly or every 20 minutes maybe for some people, that Angry Birds or Facebook dopamine feedback. Instead, they're getting it in their actual workflow. We, we crave and we need and we want that, that recognition. Um, and to take it a little bit deeper, as human beings, we are all desirous of reward, status, achievement, competition, self-expression, altruism. And with respect to competition, I like to use the word comparatition because for most people, they tend to be more comparative than competitive. And what the game designers figured out a long time ago is that they could address each of these desires by utilizing points, badges, trophies, virtual goods, avatars, and so on. Let's define what is gamification and what gamification is not. Gamification is not slapping badges on everything. That's not gamification. What gamification is, is applying what works in games to non-game environments. So what does that mean? Well, it's about the appropriate combination or an application of points, badges, trophies, leaderboards in order to enhance the user experience so that it's more compelling and more useful for the user. Progress. As human beings, we need to feel progress in many aspects of our lives. If we don't, we don't feel right, physically or mentally. That 50% complete, 60% complete, anybody know what I'm talking about there? That is the single biggest driver for LinkedIn for profile completeness. And they have to drive that because without it, they don't have a, they don't have a business model. So whether you like that profile bar or it drove you nuts, it's effective. I'm on the right track. I can see I'm halfway to the next level. It's prompting me for what to do next. Oh, by the way, I'm learning how to use the program. Successful gamified experiences need to be relevant. Those mechanics that are used need to have meaning. It's not the slapping badges up and hoping things work. There's critical thought behind it. It empowers people to feel great about what they do. This is not manipulation. It's not a veneer for how can I get people to do things. It's about providing the appropriate feedback so that there's a meaningful human experience that empowers them to learn more, to do more, to feel better about what they're accomplishing and what their, what their place is. What are their contributions? How am I making a difference? How can you help make it more productive, more meaningful, and more satisfying within that user experience so that whoever is participating in it, it's, it, it's something special to them. And it's not just something they have to do. Game mechanics will help you get there, and they, they do make a tremendous difference. Thank you very much.